operational satellite van was damaged alongside two operational vehicles and some cameras were also destroyed. The violence has been reported to the River State Police Command who is investigating the incident. A week ago, the same rally was disrupted by the police. The gathering was dispersed by tear gas and the serving Senator Magnus Abbey was injured. The president of the Save Rivers Movement, Mr. Charles Aholu, had earlier notified the police about this rally. And to bring us up to speed with what's happening in the River State, we're being joined now by our correspondent, Charles Iruka, who is in Port Harcourt, the state capital. Hello, Charles. Well, thank you very much, uh, Melinda. We're back in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. But uh, earlier today, precisely in Bori, the local government headquarters of uh, Gokana local government area, and at the All Saints Anglican uh, Church venue of the Save Rivers Movement Rally, which was supposed to have held today, earlier in the day, well, the uh, equipment were being set up. That's talking about the broadcast equipment and, of course, uh, the public address systems. The tents were all there. The seats were all arranged uh, in anticipation of the rally that was to have held, but then that was not to be. This time around, it was hoodlums, unknown hoodlums, who first stormed the place and destroyed everything in sight. Talking about the, uh, the public address systems, you know, they used machetes and cut through all the cables and wires, knocked everything over, and then proceeded to vent their wrath also on the broadcast uh, equipment. Well, the attack happened in two waves. First of all, it was the machete-wielding hoodlums who first attacked. They came, about 30 of them, and then they started Can destroying the things. Question? Then later on, about two hours later, when people were trying to wrap their heads around what had earlier happened, then a second wave of attack happened, and that's what scattered everything. People took to their heels. When gunshots were coming from all directions, approaching the venue of the rally, and then... Well, we had the situation where everybody had to run for dear life. All this happened between the hours of uh, 7 a.m. in the morning and 9 a.m. in the morning. Well, of course, um, right now we are in the relative safety of uh, Port Harcourt, the river state capital, but we also have our own uh, casualties aside from the public address systems that were thoroughly damaged. We also have uh, our own uh, OB van here with uh, the windscreen broken there. We also have our vehicles with all the glasses shattered. Our own staff were also attacked and dispossessed of their personal uh, belongings. So right now they don't have anything. Well, talking about security at the venue, most unfortunately, we had no security. The only security details were, there were those attached to some of the VIPs who were slated to uh, uh, attend the event. But then last week, uh, they said it was this time around, there were no policemen there. It was the hoodlums, of course, who launched the attack. The first wave with machetes, and then the second wave, they came masked and with guns. And so that is the situation right now. We're still taking stock of uh, the casualties. We're talking about both human and... Uh, you know, there are some of them that have gun shields in them as well. The situation here is that uh, that rally, unfortunately, could not hold in Bori, the local government headquarters of Kana Local Government Council. Back to you, Melinda. Thank you so much, our correspondent there, Charles Eruka, in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, bringing us up to speed with the violence that occurred in Kana Local Government area today. Well, we're taking a break now. When News Track returns, experts have been speaking on some of the issues on the agenda ahead of the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. Details after the break. 22 airports around the country, an industry that generates billions of naira, connecting millions of business and leisure, will put you through the paces and give you an insider's view on the aviation industry. Watch Aviation This Week only on Channels Television. 
Aviation This Week, keeping an eye on the aviation industry. You see, life has just got easier. You stay connected to Channels TV, where news and innovations are shaping our world. Simply log on to ChannelsTV.com to get the breaking news. Browse the homepage according to what matters to you. Tap on the extended coverage of business, sports, politics, lifestyle, infotech, entertainment, health, world news, and lots more. Click on the live link and see the news in real time. Do you want to watch the latest video of the day? It's just a click away. Friend us on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on Twitter, Google Plus. Participate in Channels TV poll and share your comments. It's a website you can talk to. Your voice will be heard. ChannelsTV.com. The news at your fingertips. A warm welcome back. To get all our top stories, just go to our website. It's ChannelsTV.com and on YouTube.com forward slash Channels Web. To get us on the move, visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. And there's something else you can do. Interact with the Channels Eyewitness feature on our Android and Windows 8 platforms. If you have pictures or videos to share with us, tap on the application on your device, swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions to share your report, pictures, and videos. The Bongwon Joss, His Royal Majesty Jacob Buba, is appealing to members of the Special Task Force Operation Safe Haven, maintaining law and order in Plateau State to be fair to all citizens. The Royal Father made the appeal when members of the Joss Traditional Council visited Riom to commiserate with the people on the recent attack in Bachit District. A large crowd of indigents of Riom local government area at the Secretariat as the Joss Joint Traditional Council members visit the local government to offer condolences to family members and the local government on the recent attack on Shenong village in which over 30 people were killed and several others injured. <laughs> After taking time to condole the people over the incident and prayers offered for peace to reign in and around the local government and the state as well as the country, the Bong Gon then makes a passionate appeal for peace. In that effect, we are witnesses to the most distantly act that has taken the lives of so many of our people. As people who believe in God and do not wish anyone evil. The traditional ruler also advises security operatives maintaining law and order in the state not to be biased in their dealings but ensure fairness and equity in tackling the security issue. We will continue to appeal to them to be very fair in handling these issues. We are not asking for undue favoritism but that anybody who takes the law into their hands must be fair to it appropriately. That's all our appeal. The Joss Joint Traditional Council also donated foodstuff such as rice, beans, plastic buckets and clothing to members of the community as means of cushioning the effect of damages inflicted by the attackers. After several unsuccessful attempts, the Aquaibum State Government has finally succeeded in moving unauthorized illegal motor park operators in Uyo the state capital to four modern parks built by the state government. The abandoned modern parks are now bubbling with life as all roadside operators in the state capital have now occupied the multi-million Naira motor parks. This is the modern motor park in the outskirts of the metropolis, now sheltering those moved from illegal motor parks in Uyo. Laudable as the idea appears, these illegal parks returned weeks later, abandoning the beautifully built ones. But the parks are now fully operational as all illegal operators have now moved there and it appears to be a permanent move. But how was this achieved? The State Commissioner for Transport, Prince Godwin Nukude, tells us more. First of all, clear the places of such wild grasses 
conduct serious sanitation in the place. All 